saw the leader of the bull's charges, that iron bull. He's something, is he not? Oh, go on. You can't go making cow eyes at one of those auction events. I will take these injury reports to research him in Nave. And Mother Giselle will treat all demon claw wounds, as you suggest, to deal with the venom. Toxin, not venom. It's only venom if it's deliberately injected into the bloodstream. This is simply an infection. Let us begin. Let's see what we have.
them the golden city, the center of all creation. Look at it. So much easier to ignore when it's far away. And to actually walk out of it, to be that close. If I hadn't been saved by Inquisition soldiers, I don't know what would have happened. Inquisition soldiers? That's not what I've heard. The Breach, the Divine's death, the Wardens. It doesn't make sense. There's so much we don't know. Your experience with the Wardens will certainly be useful. Mostly the treaties, I expect. Old parchments you're welcome to. What about you? How do you fit into all this? I just want to help stop the war. Try to put things back in order. A worthy goal, one I'm happy to support. For me, I'll be satisfied so long as we find the bastards that killed the Divine. They owe us some answers. I've heard rumors of abandoned Warden camps all over these parts. If we have time, I'd like to take a look, see if there's anything we can salvage. Let's talk about the Grey Wardens. You must know a lot about them. Ah, the Wardens. I'm afraid we're less exciting than we seem. The Blight's been over for ten years. What do Wardens do when the world's not ending? There are still Darkspawn. Just because we kill so many in Ferelden doesn't mean they're gone. And the world is not so peaceful that there's no use for good men with swords. Sometimes you have to figure out for yourself what the pledge to protect others really means. It's not always about just archdemons and blights. Where were you during the blight? I was in Ferelden. On my own, like always. Quietly killed my fair share of Darkspawn too. You haven't had contact with other Wardens for a while. Why were you on your own? It's what I've always done. Recruitment only requires one man. Besides, I've always been a loner. Works best for everyone that way. So you have no idea where the rest of the Wardens are? If you find that odd, the flight is over. We don't need an organized force. And orders don't change much from day to day. <laughs> for the last thousand years or so, it's been just find Darkspawn, kill them, repeat as necessary. Let's continue this at another time. As you wish. I'll be here if you need me. Yes? I want to hear more about you. <laughs> Compared to yours, my life will seem dull indeed. Your name, Blackwall, doesn't sound Orlesian. Marcher, then? Ferelden? I was from the Free Marchers originally. Markham. That was a long time ago. Another life. I hear that many Wardens were once criminals. You're right. And when you join, your past is forgotten, so let's leave it that way.
What did you do before you became a warden? I was a soldier, a, a nobody trained to wield a sword and follow orders. I grew weary of fighting other men's wars. So you became a warden? More or less. Becoming a Grey Warden was the first time I felt like I mattered. The life I led before seems hollow in comparison. Perhaps one day it will fade away. Why did you join the Wardens? Because they remember honor and sacrifice. Words that have little meaning to the rest of us. Because they lay down their lives for those they have sworn to protect. We all need to believe there are such men in the world. I needed to believe I could be one of them. We can continue this discussion at another time. Very well. At your service. What do you think of the Inquisition? I expected more. More men. Better equipment. You may have Andraste's favor, but wars are won by men. Soldiers. Brute force is not always the answer. There are plenty of other paths to victory. <laughs> True enough. Still, it never hurts to be prepared. One thing I will say about your men. They're passionate. Devoted. You inspire them. Build on that foundation. And you will have an army that makes nations tremble. What do you think about all this trouble between the Mages and Templars? Looking at it from where we stand, it seems inevitable. But that could be hindsight. How many of us actually saw it coming? Either way, I don't think the Chantry will ever recover. What do you think of Haven? It's a war camp that was once a pilgrim's refuge. It's the state of the world though, isn't it? Holy ground turned into a battlefield. Pity about that temple. Would have been nice to see it. What do you think of the Inquisition's cause? Restoring order is a goal I support wholeheartedly. But that's not the end of it, is it? Not by a half. The Lady Seeker believes we are restoring the Chantry. Others say it needs reform. I don't know where you stand on the matter, and I'll admit I haven't made up my mind either. What do you think of my advisors? Josephine's lovely, and craftier than you'd expect. The Inquisition could not have picked a better ambassador. What do you think of my advisors? Cullen. He's got the look of a man who's been through too much. He's seen the best and the worst of humanity, and I think he still struggles with where that leaves him. Still, I trust him to watch my back. What do you think of my advisors? Leliana seems... nice. Also a little frightening, but mostly nice. Does Liliana frighten you? Has she said anything to you? No, she hasn't said anything. I'd just rather not offend her. I don't want to wake up with a blade in my kidneys if I can help it. What do you think of my advisors? Liliana seems... nice. Also a little frightening, but mostly nice. You must have some feelings about our friends. You're eyeing the Lady Seeker, aren't you? I can see why. It's definitely striking. A little stern, though. You're experienced, I assume. Got any tips? If I say the wrong thing, she'll probably have my head. Cassandra is a warrior. That's all she's ever known. But that's not all there is to life. Show her that. You must have some feelings about our friends. I talked with Solus the other day. That man knows all there is to know about everything. You must have some feelings about our friends. Madame Vivian only allied with the Inquisition because she knows it will bring her power. The most poisonous snakes are often the most beautiful. You must have some feelings about our friends. Last time we dined, Sarah put away 12 potatoes, an entire roast duck, and four different tarts. I'm not sure where any of it goes. You must have some feelings about our friends. Have you seen the stories Varric's been writing? His descriptions of me are... colorful, 
to say the least. You must have some feelings about our friends. Madame Vivian only allied with the Inquisition. The most poisonous snakes are often the most beautiful. You must have some... Talked with Solus the other day. That man knows all there is. You must have some fe Have you seen the stories Varric's been writing? His disc... You must have some... Last time we died, I'm not sure where any of it goes. You must have... Madame Vivian. The most poisonous snakes are often the most... What do you think of my... Cullen. Still, I trust him to watch my back. We should return to our duties. As you wish. You are, after all, in charge. What do you need to keep these refugees warm? Blankets, warm clothes, all of it. These poor sods lost everything when the mages and the Templars went crazy. If we were in a village, I could just pinch a blanket off a clothesline and be fine. Out here, I'm sure the apostates have plenty of supplies, just haven't been able to find them. Farewell. And see you.
What's that? Where does this lead? is helping like you lot. Maybe I was wrong. Nothing to report, sir. 